Howdy. Welcome to the second ice camping trip of the season. Today, my buddy Brody and I are gonna be bunk bed ice camping up here in Northern Minnesota, going for some big walleyes. Today, we're blessed with a heat wave. It is 13 degrees and we've got a pretty, well, it's not that dicey today, but this road's been known to be dicey before. We only had a 10 mile drive down a logging road that hasn't been plowed, but lucky for us, somebody Somebody drove it after the snowfall, so it should be uh, should be doable. What do you think, bud? We're doing it. <laughs> we are doing it. <laughs> uh oh. Don't like that. Oh no. That's not good. No. Put her in four. We lost the trailer off the side. Oh, did we? Yeah, that's why. God dang, dude. Uh oh. We didn't lose a tire, did we? No. What can we do? Back the wheelers off. Get the trailer back on. Might be able to get it with just this back wheeler off. Okay, let's just do the safe, the safe way. That just tossed me right in the ditch. Yeah. So what happened is we got the wheel off the road here and the trailer just doesn't want to hop back on so we're going to get some weight out of the trailer take the wheelers off get straight again load it back up you might be able to get it with just this one okay god damn and slow now. We did her. Got her done. I don't know how this thing works. We've had a lot of cold days in the last week, so we're actually able to take out machines. This is my first time taking an ATV on a uh, ice fishing trip. Usually I'm taking my snowmobiles, but unfortunately one of my sleds is broken right now and parts are pretty hard to find for it. Let's uh let's get to the other edge of the reeds and pop one just to see what we're working with. Holy cow. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I don't need any defense for that. <laughs> I could drive a truck out here. That was insane. All right, we drilled a hole. It's always good to check the ice when you come on to a new lake, especially when it's earlier in the season like this, but we've got more than enough ice to do what we're doing. So we're working with about a foot, a foot and a half maybe, and we're driving all the way out there. All right, you ready, bud? Let's get it. Pop a couple. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, we're definitely on a weed line. We're in the weeds here. There's a fish right there. I think we're gonna be in a good spot, buddy. Well, you're shoving, I'll just set the cots up. There's a science to it. Pretty dialed. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna get inside and I can hand this to you? This thing is ridiculous. Alright. Be good. Cheers. <laughs> We're all set up. Only ones on this lake. It's so quiet out here. I was just saying to Brody. It's the first time I've heard silence in a while, so it's nice. Besides the setup of this house. There's not much noise on this lake, but we got everything all set up. The bunk beds are good. Got our big insulated tent today. Got it all done before 1 p.m. So we're uh, gonna have the whole afternoon to fish and hopefully gonna stick a big walleye. This lake has giants in it. So we got the rest of the afternoon today, night bite, and then tomorrow morning. Plan is to head out tomorrow. So taking a little breather here after setup. It's kind of like go, go, go action for like an hour and a half. And then finally got a chance to breathe. So I'm gonna take 15 minutes and, and hit her hard. All right, we're dropping down. Got the Ratlin flyer spoon on. The minnow head, using a walleye rod. This is the 32 inch snare. I think we're on a good spot for the night bite, which is perfect for our, our camp because that's where we're gonna be spending a majority of our time is in here at night. So I think kind of hungry. Could eat. You wanna hand me those, uh, MREs over there. Bro, do you want beef taco or meatballs and marinara? Whatever you don't want, man. You don't want either. Me either. I'll try the meatballs and marinara then. frozen solid right now. All right, I've got some MREs trying to, trying to make them for lunch. They're frozen solid, so I can't even get them all the way in the bag, but I'm gonna see, we're doing a little experiment today. We're gonna learn together. But I definitely don't think they're gonna cook very fast. Brody's out hole hopping searching for fish. I'm gonna go set my tip up out so we have some live bait in the water. These fish are being kind of skittish and we don't know where they're at. So it's good to have a wide array of options. All set. Now we wait. Oh, it's going. Yeah. It's going, but oh yeah, it's peeling. Oh, yeah. It. Damn. 
Well, sun's starting to go down. We're kind of in the witching hour of catching a fish, but all that we're missing is the fish. I'm gonna replace the minnows on that rod. And hopefully you can still get one. He came and he went. They finally warmed up, huh? Kind of. It's still pretty, still pretty cold. These are supposed to be for lunch, and they've taken like two hours to cook. Well, they were also completely frozen, so. And they're definitely not frozen anymore, which is good. Look at, I got a fish chasing me. He's still on it. Still just staring at it. Oh, that was a walleye bite. Mm -hmm. Dink. Oh, for one. It's a good sign. Wasn't a super giant, but it wasn't a small fish. Fishing has been slow, to say the least. We had a couple shots at fish earlier, but no we've been. Dice. Yeah, no dice. We both swung and missed. I'm absolutely starving, though. And these things have taken long enough to heat up. <laughs> I think at like noon, I was saying that I was, I was dying. That bad? Dude, looks like peanut butter, man. <laughs> it is. Oh, God. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> you want it? Yeah. <laughs> love, love to. Here, you want to trade? This one's actually warmer. Meatball and marinara. I mean, here. What's the difference? You can just see what that one looks like. Here's your. Uh, my cheese spread and my rice. Your, your beef filling. Oh, that looks healthy. <laughs> All right. Some of these are actually really good. Like, I've had a bunch of them that I liked, but this is definitely not an ideal. I mean, if it wasn't cold, it'd hit. It'd probably hit. Oh, wow. Yeah, this looks like cat food. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like some Santa Fe rice. Wow, this is like the saddest MRE ever, but. <laughs> <laughs> Here, no worries, man. I got an extra taco for oh. you. Jerome, <laughs> 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 boy. Here, I'll try them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it looks like a mashed potato. That's not even edible, dude. That is not good. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> you went in on that. Honestly, not bad. Really? Wow. Just cold. I mean, definitely not doing favors for my digestion tract, but. Gross. <laughs> Italian breadsticks? Oh, this was for yours. You had like the breadsticks and stuff in there. Thank you not raisin mix. Thanks. Here, you got a beef snack. That was a beef snack. I don't know, but you got it. All right, orange drink. This ain't it. I'm not even kidding. Like, this is the first time I've had an MRE and been, like, not hyped. The Italian meatballs and the taco beef with beef filling. L. The fishing right now. L. The camp set up. Big W. You jumping and try another MRE? Oh, I can't wait. This thing looks bussin'. Brittle. But very good. Is it? Yeah. This is a good time until I brought dinner. I, I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some hacked randomly. Dude, I just watched a huge red mark like come up to this. Yeah. And I was like trying to grab this rod and this rod just went thunk. No it way. Gone, yeah. It's been so slow for the last like two hours. 
ever since the sun went down. Been sitting on YouTube and just hanging out. Oh, definitely not the afternoon I imagined. Eating all those MREs made me hungry. It's time to start cooking. Thanks, boss. All right, as good as the fishing is, um, I'm hungry and we gotta start cooking. It's like 18 degrees outside now. We got a full moon tonight. Always wash your rice, Brody, even when you're out in 10 degree weather. I'm going to make the ground bison, onions, soy sauce, and glass. This is one of my favorite recipes that I make at home. Um, and we were trying to opt for something easy today on the ice, so here we are. It's always just good to be out here. I guess that's what people say when they can't catch fish, eh? There you go, sir. Oh my lord. Sorry about the rice in advance. It's hard to cook rice in the cold. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. <laughs> Smells good. This is just what we need, a pile of carbs and protein. <laughs> Can't complain. Could use a vegetable, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Your four-wheeler makes a nice uh, little cooking table. Does it? Yeah. To be honest, I'm just happy we're out here because uh, fishing is disappointing, but we could have definitely gotten stuck earlier, and that would have sucked. Didn't really bring any form of entertainment except for a screen that we're watching our minnows on. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting it. Recipe for disaster. Yeah, they're dancing down there. Dude, I don't think I've seen a single thing swim on that screen. Have you been looking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Huh? You gonna be warm? I think I'll be all right. Yeah. All right. Oh. Bunk bed camping, buddy. We're here. We're doing it. Oh. <sighs> what a long day. Get some shut eye and hit it hard tomorrow. Yep. That's all you can do. It's like, what? Is it like 8.30? 9? It's 9. Yeah. It's 9 o'clock. It's time to do some shut eye. Night. <laughs> Slept in a little bit. It's uh 7.50 right now. Better check. check our baits. Oh yeah, I still have a minnow. That's good. I didn't bring coffee. But I did bring peach vibe, baby. Dude, I was hoping so much to wake up to just panic of just the frog going down the fucking hole. Yeah. That would Pretty dead on the screen this morning. We've been seeing some maybe walleyes coming in over on this side, which just means that it's like a little bit by the transducer over there. We're just seeing tiny ones under our baits, little bluegills or something. Breakfast of champions this morning. Peach vibe. A 
peanut butter crispy bar. It's like 17 degrees outside right now. It's really weird looking. Like, I'll show you. Put the 1030 bites on. It's popping. Heater's going out. Fish are not cooperating. One of the slowest days of fishing I can remember, but hey, that's fishing. Now I gotta pack all this stuff up. Well, this trip was awful. <laughs> Dude, the sleep was busted though. The sleep was busted. Like, that's the one thing we had going for us. Yeah, fish didn't do it. Nope. Definitely tell her we camped. Give it hell. Give it hell. We tried our best. All right, let's get back to the truck. Here we go. Well, that was an eventful and uneventful trip at the same time. Happy to be back on the road. Now we're gonna go grab some breakfast. Until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.